absolutely crucial. Will we see the yellow, white and black of Lotto uh, Yumbo do it? Uh, we've seen Kofa this up there, but when are we going to see any of the other teams move into the mix? Because we've only got five kilometres to go. Yeah, next time by we'll hear the bell. At least we hope that's what we're going to hear. Uh, so that the counters have got it absolutely right. And then uh, I think it's going to be uh, oil on the fire, to be honest, as far as the sprint teams are concerned. They're not going to let this chance go. I think Ray Crater, you know I asked for a, 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 a sort of an outside uh, a tip today. I think Ray Crater is looking very, very strong for Rome Pot. Well, fifth place in the sprint. Uh, it was a bit of a chaotic sprint last oh. time because we saw... Uh, I think it's going to be again. We, we saw, let's hope nobody goes the wrong way. Poor old Bob Youngles was, had broken away, had a lead of about, well, about five or six seconds. I don't know whether he was going to hold on to the finish, but he unfortunately won went the wrong way. There was definitely some, some confusion. Cat amongst the pigeons sort of situation. And so a rather chaotic sprint, uh, which Cofidis had a long, a long, long lead out. But again, it looks like Stein Vandenberg is attacking his counterpart. That often happens, perhaps feeling that the Italian wasn't pulling strong enough. Two laps to go here, so it'll be the bell next time by, not this particular time. This is uh, penult penultimate. Yes, uh, so we'll have another lap still to come. And he's decided that, frankly, I'm going to try and do this myself. Um, it's always a difficult thing because you have to follow somebody else's rhythm and if you're not happy with it and you've got something left in the legs then van der berg is probably doing exactly the right thing right now good to see escudet basque country they want to show themselves towards the front bardiani likewise are here albeit an italian squad but keeping it latin i think you might say uh escatel uh, sorry ethics uh, quick step at the moment also um got the pass out because of this man oh no what a, a piece of debris. Oh. That's not going to help. It may only be a, a polythene bag, but he's not going to like that there. And he's going to hear it apart from anything else. Well, there's not much he can do about that. Does he reach down? It's uh, on the, on the non-drive side, so thankfully... Well, it's still very, very dangerous. That gets wrapped around the hug, the hub. That he could be slowing down at the moment. I think he's, he's asking, asking the cameraman. I think he's asking him something to pull it out. I don't think he's going to be able to pull that out on the move. It looks like it's well and truly wrapped around the what quick release nightmare. and the and the rear stay. Oh, what an unfortunate! Uh, you can hear it. Turn of fate for Stein van den Berg, but he's still pressing on, Carlton. Amazingly, still with four kilometres to go, a lap and a half of this finishing circuit to go. Bardiani off the front. They know Mirko Maestri has been jettisoned by this rider. What an unfortunate turn of well, events. Well, it is, and it's uh, distracting apart from anything else. 17 seconds now is the gap that uh, van der Berg has got onto the chasers, but he's hearing this, and here's the pickup right now. It is blustery out there, and uh, that's just a terrible piece of fortune. Oh, dear. And he knew he knows it immediately, and he can hear it uh, like clickers that he's a still make there. The bits of card when you were kids. It's it's not what he wants to hear, not at all. The motorcycle effects uh, you can hear it as well. We can hear it. Oh, it's just so it's distracting. It, uh, you need to have all your focus at a moment such as this, and that's not going to help. It's not going to help at all. It's going to be slowing down just a little bit. But fortunately, if that had been uh, wrapped around the bike on the other side, it would have been game over. It would have got tangled in his jockey wheels, perhaps torn the rear mech off. I've actually torn rear mechs off when getting stuff stuck in the back. He's still managing to press on. He's still holding on to the lead. 17 seconds was the last check we had. But what a ride by Stein Vandenberg. Only one team on the front. Bardiardi chasing. Their ride has been dropped, so now they're trying to set it up for Nicola Raffoni. Let's hope he can hold on. I would love now, especially with this, <laughs> to see Stein van der Berg hold on, but I don't think it's going to happen. He's checking over his shoulder more time than is, uh, uh, than is useful, I'm afraid. He's worried about the closers, and they are coming. Uh, we're staying with this because it's a, it's a story in itself. A little bit of debris, but you're going to get a view of it right now as the motorcycles shoot to the other side of the road. This will be the bell, a man who's carrying a little bit of extra weight, and he doesn't like it at all. It's only a polythene bag it wins next to nothing but it's a huge distraction for him there we are it will be across the finish line can he possibly hold on i don't think so he's put a lot of effort into this and he's carrying an extra burden of distraction he certainly is but just looking at the gearing that he's managing to turn around he's still turning a huge gear such a strong strong rider when you think about look at through his palmares the type of races oh, look. he's managed well he's holding on it looks like maestri's only just been caught no, yet Maestri's just been caught by one of the riders from uh, Ross Velo 
Well, that very interesting situation here. Has he got enough in the tank? Coffin is now leading. Yeah, I don't think they're worried just yet, but they've got to start. Uh, alarm bells going off and a little bit of bumping and bruising going out there. On the final lap here in Valencia, and they're spreading wide. Only two Ks to go. Can possibly Stein van der Berg hold on here? He's out of sight. That's the crucial thing, and here he is on that pinch section. Nobody's going to like coming through here either. It's only two or three metres. 18 seconds he's got. Come on, this would be fantastic, Stein. Stein van der Berg, shall we call him Stein van der Berg with the thing that he's got on the back of his bike? <laughs> Absolutely. Some incredible scenes. That was so off-putting. It's also going to be slowing down fractionally, of course. It's catching in the spokes. He's lapping. But he's lapping riders here. He's picking up uh, some of uh, the remnants of the field. He's sailing through. He's got to keep his wits about him. Is that Bob Poles? He's going to know. I beg your pardon. It's one of our uh, Lotto Jumbo boys. Of course not. About uh, Poles well and truly <laughs> ensconced. Getting uh, overexcited on behalf of uh, Stein van der Berg here. He can still hear it. Can he hear the cheers at the end of the day? These riders have got to get out of the way. They're beeping him through. It's almost like a parade, this. But he's got a lot of work still to do with 2K remaining, it says. Flamrouge coming up soon. Here's that pickup yet again, I think. Oh, we're already on board. My goodness, we don't need an art shot at moments such as this. We want to see the finish. Uh, if it is two Ks to go, and I believe it is, he's heading for victory here, potentially. He certainly is. That's just a replay of him taking the, the, the bell, taking the lap board with that piece of plastic well and truly wrapped around his rear stay. Let's get the cameras back to the to the race itself. Stein van der Berg heading to the finish. How far back are the peloton pressing on? Does he believe? I think he does. I think he does believe, and I think uh, they've made a mistake timing-wise, those behind him. Here we are. There's the Flam Rouge. He's just got to get his head down and keep going. He's got to deliver the power that he's shown so far. And more than that, demeanor and maybe belief. And maybe he's lacking some. He just checks over his shoulder just to see. We could do with a camera in front of him looking backwards to see what the gap is here. We've got no other uh, no other uh, reference points, I'm afraid, for you. But uh, mouth agape like a basking shark. He's drinking this one in. Will it be champagne for him today? He's got to go for this. He just can't keep looking back. He's got to remain focused. Such a difficult thing to do with that. Thing, which is getting tighter and tighter, wrapped around his back wheel. Absolutely incredible scenes there. His mouth agape, driving home. You can just see the foam on the side of his eyes. He keeps glancing behind. Where are the peloton? We can't see them. We don't know where they are, but we know they're definitely bearing down behind. Has he got enough left? Come on, Stein, you can deliver this, surely. And we're going to be given the favour of seeing how close everybody else is. He's over the side of the road, suggesting the strain's coming through. I certainly hope not. Here we are, then. Is he going to get this? This is absolutely fantastic. If he manages to deliver this, there will be one of the most focused pieces of powerful riding, individual demeanor, and here they come. I think they possibly left it too late. They're all spread across the road. Everybody's got an interest in Supe here, but this man is going to have everything. Sam van der Berg, is he going to make it, break everybody's hearts? I think he possibly can. A couple of corners still to make. They're all mustering. He's going to carry it. A little bit of extra weight has not happened him at all. Oh, chapeau, sir. Stein van der Berg with extra baggage. He's on holiday. That was fabulous. Well, I tell you what, hope he doesn't get charged for that excess baggage. What an absolutely superb final two laps. Punches the air. Good His Etex Quickstep teammates equally as delighted. <laughs> I've never seen anything like that before. That, as well as the extra friction, the extra power you've got to put through the bike, psychologically so frustrating, didn't put him off at all, only just held off a fast finishing bunch. What a climax to this race. Good boy, good boy. Well.